back again with another video and uh, I want to talk about Vidal and a little bit of hype man okay some of you will be excited to get an update on that okay now Vidal has got a new partnership with NEM okay NEM so NEM official um, welcome at NEM official to the Vidal DeFi ecosystem Vidal will implement NEM as a collateral asset Bido is a gateway for DeFi and so on. All right. So NEM is excited to announce a strategic partnership with Bido Chain, a decentralized stablecoin which will allow XEM to be offered as a collateral asset and builds NEM's DeFi offering. Okay. So um, it's been a little while since we saw a new partnership, hasn't it? Um, when I say a little while, I mean you know before these partnerships were coming quite frequently. So it's good to see some good news for Bido. Okay, because uh, you know there's not been a lot of good news to, to, to post about Vidal in the recent weeks. All right, obviously you know they're on Poloniex. Okay, um, a few people have said that some of the exchanges that they've been listed on, where they were listed on there um, without like kind of you know partnering with Vidal on that, they just took it upon themselves to list it. All right, so um, when I'm saying that um, they're currently on three or four of the exchanges, what they said that they were announcing. Um, out of the seven, um, I may be wrong about that. You know, I don't know for certain. That's just what some people have said. L Bank is another one. All right, guys. So yeah, the exchanges are picking up. All right. So um, yeah, good news for Bidal. They've also got 10.1k followers on Twitter now. Uh, all right. Uh, if we look at the Bidal chart, where are we? We look at the Bidal chart. Uh, I said I, I, I could see it coming back down for some more downside. All right. But with Bitcoin now going past 14.5k, I said that we could expect a bull run in the altcoins as well, an alt season. Okay, now it doesn't have to happen right away, of course. Bitcoin is going to do its thing. And then we'll find out, we'll find out what the right coins to be in are when Bitcoin stops running. Okay, if Bitcoin can break past 20k, I definitely think there's going to be a huge alt season. And a lot of people will get rich in that bull run if you're in the right coins only. Alright guys? So yeah, Bidal, new partnership, okay, nothing really else that I can say apart from the fact that the token burn still hasn't come yet and people are waiting for that. It would be good for Bidal to start gaining some ground, okay, and start moving back to the upside at least before the token burn happens. I'd like the token burn to happen anywhere up here, <laughs> okay, that would be nice because then you would see the FOMO kicking in and price discovery would really take off, all right? But that is Bidal, so I want to move on to h burn okay so if you did get in on this yesterday after my call then you would have made quite a bit of money on h burn when it did get listed okay unfortunately what it did is it dropped okay it dumped and people started to get a little bit worried I'm not even gonna lie i got shaken out of it at that point all right guys i should have took a hundred percent well that's how i felt at the time it went up by a hundred percent as soon as it went live okay there was plenty of time to take a decent profit it was very volatile when it came out uh, very very volatile when it listed okay up and down up and down like, like they normally go right when it came all the way down to my break even point around five dollars i decided to get out okay i decided to to, to to close my position all right took a very small loss probably about 70 dollars 65 dollars something stupid like that right and it went down further and i thought gosh it should took profit okay is what it is all right but then i decided i needed to wait and see wait for it to gain some good ground okay before i took another position all right so when i saw that it was coming back up okay and it was heading in the right direction i then decided to get back into my position okay i bought it back a little bit more expensive than what i initially got in at five dollars ended up buying it back at around nine dollars right but for me it's better to be safe than sorry right lost out on a little bit of profit there but i didn't lose money that's the key point okay by the time i got back in we saw this massive move to the upside all right and what i did is i scaled out some of my position i took my initial investment out i took another little bit of a profit and now i still have some riding i actually bought the dip as well with some of the uh, the profits that I took, I actually bought the dip when it dropped as well, and um, I got you know I increased my bag back up again. All right, so now we're seeing that it is consolidating a little bit, and it could potentially move to the upside. Why do I think that there could be some more upside for this? Okay, because phase two of the burn eight percent burn activation is kicking off in an hour and twenty minutes. Okay. 
this could incite FOMO. This could see a lot of people running into this. And I'm giving you enough time now. Um, <laughs> some people accuse me of not giving them enough time to get into the pre-sale. All right, guys. I mean, you can't have it all, right? Now, if you didn't get into the pre-sale, you actually had a better chance to buy it back underneath pre-sale price, okay, when it dipped down there. So it's not always, you don't always need to get into the pre-sale to get the opportunity. All right, guys? There's sometimes a better opportunity after the pre-sale, all right? Even if we look at buy down, okay, with buy down, if you didn't get in on the ICO, there was a better chance to buy it when it came down here, cheaper than ICO price. So the market sometimes gives you a second chance, guys. So don't worry about stuff like that. Small things, it's, it's, it's small stuff, all right? But yeah, an hour and 20 minutes before phase two of the burn, the 8% burn activation. Okay, now obviously, if we look at, if we go, let's just try and find a hype burn, right? Let's go on the medium article and see what, what this burn activation is about. If you didn't see yesterday's video, you can go back and watch that. All right, guys, I, I do recommend that you do actually. So, because I did a more in depth look at what hype burn was and why I thought it was, it looked like a project that could take off. All right, so I think it looks like they've increased the burn rate. Okay, I think there was uh, people voted. Um, for an increase in the burn all right so now it's a eight percent burn rather than a two to six percent burn on day two all right day three will be a ten percent burn day four will be a fourteen percent burn five will be an eighteen percent day six will be twenty two percent day seven will be twenty five percent and that's why I am holding the tokens that I have left my de-risk my de-risking strategy has taken place okay I can no longer lose money on hype burn so now I'm waiting to see whether this can do something like what SMPO did or Moon Day did or whatever, right? Whether it can go to a grand, two grand or whatever. But first we need to hit those $100 targets, right? So right now we're sitting at $22, okay? Uh, at the bottom, it was $3 after the dump, all right? Pre-sale was around $5, okay? The peak was about $38, if I remember correctly. It says 40 there yeah let's say forty dollars approximately okay and now it's consolidating uh, and it's sitting at a price of twenty two dollars so down almost fifty percent from the top okay it should be quite easy for that to get up if the burn takes place and uh, people form a win and then it makes price increase okay now somebody said that um you know there's no guarantee that the burn will make it go up um, and that, that happens with a lot of projects okay there's no guarantee that a burn is going to make the price increase that much all right but one thing i like to say if people think that it will then it will all right because if they're buying it because they think that it will and FOMO kicks in, it's gonna make the price jump, okay? So um, that's what I'm expecting with H-Burn. I could be wrong at the end of the day, right? So if this goes to zero now, don't blame Crypto Lightsaber because you didn't take profits, all right, guys? De-risk, uh, manage your ma manage manage your, your manager risk, right? Take profit if you need to, okay? Take some out, and at least then, you know, you can say you've realized something from it, because I'm always saying, you do not realize any gains until you take profit okay and it's the same with a loss you don't realize a loss until you get out all right some people thought i shouldn't have sold and i should have held hype burn down there all right but at the end of the day my strategy needs to change i need to adapt okay i might tell you one thing's going up today and i'm going to hold it all right but tomorrow i might get out because i have to be flexible with my decision making i have to be able to adapt just to manage my risk okay that's how you protect your capital all right so that's it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Get over onto Twitter and follow me at Crypto Lightsaber. Also, you can become a Patreon. Link is in the description for that. And that gives you access to the Telegram group. And I'll see you guys in the next video.